Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Um, got a really, really special one uh, this evening. Uh, as you would have seen from the thumbnail, it's from uh, Founders Brewery in uh, Michigan, United States. And this is actually a two-year-old beer. Uh, it's a bottle of their CBS. And this is uh, a barrel-aged Imperial Stout. Um... And they haven't, they stopped brewing this in 2019. And this is one of the bottles from that very last batch. Um, I don't know if they plan to bring it back again. It used to be an annual thing. Um, Founders Brewery uh, from Grand, Grand Rapids in Michigan, North America. Um, they do uh, their KBS, which is their famous breakfast out, uh, along with other annual releases. Uh, but this is their, their CBS, their Canadian uh breakfast out and like i say the reason it's a canadian breakfast out is it, it's been barreled barrel aged in barrels that had maple syrup and bourbon whiskey in them um so maple syrup obviously traditionally canadian um yeah so it says on the bottle here an imperial stout brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels um yeah 2019 release this was bottled on the 10th of august 2019 it's coming in at 11.3 percent abv 11.3 so a small one it says cbs was born when we stumbled upon some bourbon barrels that had that had previously housed maple syrup we opted to put the same base beer as kbs an imperialized version of breakfast out in the maple barrels and after one taste, we knew we had something special. Hints of rich maple syrup, roasted coffee and velvety chocolate meld together in what can only be described as a transcendental drinking experience. Transcendental, that's a word I haven't used very often. Um, yeah, so 11.3% ABV Imperial Stout. Barrelaged in maple and bourbon barrels. This promises to be... Straight away on the aroma, I'm getting maple syrup. Oh, goodness me, look at the pour. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the aroma, the aroma coming out of that glass already. Goodness me, I do not want to waste a drop of this. I want all of that in there. Wow, okay. Um, I picked this beer f up from beerhop.co.uk, a uh, right, London-based um, company who specialise in um, the distribution of American beers. Um, I don't know if they've got any left. You might have to have a check. Um, beerhop.co.uk, they had a very limited stock left of these. Um, going on the aroma, I mean, there, there is this stout. It is pretty much jet black i'm not seeing any red bleeding through that really it's maintaining sort of a half finger creamy tan looking head and it does look creamy the head itself looks quite creamy and it's not going anywhere there's the lacing on the glass let's get me snout in get a pop of aroma oh goodness me that smells incredible Blimey. The aromas you get on some of these stouts are spectacular. And this is no exception. I'm getting dark chocolate, maple syrup, roasted coffee, vanilla. A little bit of spice on the aroma as well. It smells boozy. Dark chocolate, I've, you know, kind of like um, rum and raisin chocolate. Dark fruits, dark chocolate, roasted coffee, maple syrup. The aroma is tickling the back of my throat, you know. It smells incredible. Um, I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers, everyone.
お<笑> you get that maple syrup straight away and it carries through and there's an abundance of chocolate Maple syrup, dark chocolate. It's really soft on the mouthfeel. Really smooth, velvety. On the back end, you're left with like a roasted coffee. Roasted coffee, dark chocolate. The flavour just lingers and the whole way through, there's a maple syrup backbone to it and it carries through. This is exceptional this is an exceptional beer it, oh it's so rich if you're a fan of imperial stouts if you like a bourbon barrel aid stout um i can if, if you can get a bottle of this, I really do recommend getting on beerhop.co.uk as soon as you can, seeing if you can get one. Um, this is a treat. It's it's rich. It's strong. It's boozy as hell. There's a dark fruitiness to it. It's like, it's like, it's like fruit and nut. It's like... Um, Cadbury's do, um, I think it's called um, Old Jamaica, dark chocolate, dark chocolate with um, like a rum and raisin uh, added to it, raisin in the chocolate and like a rum flavour to it, it's like that, rum and raisin, dark chocolate, maple syrup throughout, roasted coffee malts at the back end, it's roasted at the back end, it's sweet at the beginning, the mouthfeel is smooth, velvety all the way through. The maple syrup carries through. It's warming. I'll tell you what, you're getting a bit of heat as well. You're getting um, tannins from the oak in the bourbon, in the barrels, maple and bourbon barrels. You're getting a bit of warmth now. The more you drink it, the warmth rises. Is it 11.3, this one? Um, yeah, 11.3. Um, I'm not sure what the strongest beer I've reviewed on this channel is, but this has got to be right up there. Um, it's spectacular. It's a sipper. It's one to sit, relax, enjoy. Um, it had been in the fridge. I've had it out of the fridge for about an hour or so now just to kind of let it cool down. Now it's just kind of slightly chilled and I think that's kind of where you want it. If you have it too chilled, you can blunt the flavours. If you have it too warm, then flavours can become a little bit too strong and sometimes make it not the most enjoyable drinking experience. But I think I've got it right uh, on the sweet spot at the moment. It's nicely chilled. I'm getting so much complexity to it. There's so much going on. There's stages to this beer. And that maple syrup carries through right from the beginning. It starts off maple syrup and you're greeted almost instantly with that maple syrup with the mouthfeel, the creaminess of it. So it almost feels like you've got like milk chocolate with maple syrup. And then it develops, the richness of it. it gets darker, more roasted. And it kind of be, turns into like a boozy, dark chocolate sort of a beer. And then at the back end, you're left with that kind of roasted coffee flavour. Um, it's it's lovely. It really is lovely. And the aroma as well. Every time, every time you take another swig, that aroma greets you. Boozy chocolate. Boozy 
boozy chocolate, strong coffee, maple syrup. This is wonderful. Um, well done, founders. And hopefully, hopefully, they'll start brewing something like this again. They still do the KBS. Um, but yeah, this is uh, spectacular. I'm going to uh, relax and enjoy the rest of this. Um, it's a wonderful beer. It's a wonderful beer, and it's a shame that they're not doing it anymore. Um, but yeah, if you go to beerhop.co.uk, you might get one of the last remaining bottles um, because the, this was the last batch for 2019. Um, I do recommend it. It's an incredible Imperial Stout. It's a hell of an experience, and I'm very grateful that I managed to get one. Um, there's the bottle cap, if you've not seen the Founders bottle cap before. Um, it's a wonderful beer. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. It's spectacular. It's a treat. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, so once again, Founders, but they're CBS, 11.3% ABV Imperial Maple Syrup and Bourbon Barrel Aid Stout. Spectacular stuff. Love it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.